can't believe the event is winding down. I haven't mentioned the information booth. Look at the wonderful volunteers of the information booth. Hey, guys. Hi. They're there for, obviously, you can see on the sign, they have information and programs, daily draws and everything, and it's all volunteers helping out. And that's one of the great things about this event is the number of volunteers that come out here that are tennis fans and fans of helping people out and volunteering and getting involved in their community. Court preparation is very important. These courts are actually washed every single night. And today on Stadium 2, I have two doubles matches, and then that's the end of Stadium 2. But they still have to sweep the courts, blow all the dust and dirt off that gets on them from the desert. It's very important to keep these courts right up to where they need to be at the professional level. And the more I played on clay, the more I appreciated that surface. I think it's a great test of physical ability plus tennis ability. That's Roy Emerson telling one of his stories. This is Bud Collins' Tennis Talk. It's an event that happens every day at 12.30 out here. I haven't been able to come over to a report on it because I'm usually on my court during that time, but I've been doing promos for Bud all week. There's Bud. It's really great. Bud, Bud takes a microphone into the crowd and lets you ask questions, and he has different guests every day. And he has Roy Emerson today, and of course Roy Emerson is the only man to win titles, singles and doubles titles, at all Grand Slams. So next year, we only have a few days left of the tournament, next year if you can make it out, be sure to make Bud Collins Tennis Talk every day at 12.30 on the Tennis Garden stage. I'm here with some of the real heroes, the ball kids. You know, they run around the court and they get everything done. And you know, I want to ask Haley, what was your favorite event of, of uh, the tournament? Are you? Um, there you are. Probably when Bob Bryan imitated Nadal in their doubles match. All right. It was really funny. Okay. And Dominic, what was your favorite moment? My favorite moment was when I got my picture taken with James Blake. That was really cool. See, the ball kids get to get all around. They get closer to the players than I do, and I haven't got my picture taken with any of the players. So you guys are very lucky. And one thing you don't want to forget is how important the ball kids are to this event. Well, that wraps it up for today. So we'll see you with more tennis outside the lines.